Hi students, today I'll be reading you the second half of the book, Ten in the Tent, by Danny Katz. Enjoy! Chapter 4 The Wind There was still one more noise to come. Whoosh! It made everyone sit up. It was the sound of the wind. Big blasts of air were hitting the side of the tent. This was because Mr. Murch had set up the tent in a windy place. He'd set up the tent right on the beach where there was no shelter. Honey knew this was going to be a problem. She even told her father when he was setting up the tent. She said, Dad, don't you think we should pitch the tent somewhere a little more sheltered? Mr. Murch said, well, then we wouldn't have these great ocean views. Honey said, what ocean views? And Mr. Murch said, there, just behind the rubbish bin. Honey looked around the rubbish bin. Oh, those ocean views. But now, in the middle of the night, the wind was becoming wilder and wilder. The door was flipping and flapping, and bits of rope were lashing the sides. The tent actually started lifting off the ground. It started to drag along the sand. This was when Mr. Murch began to wonder if maybe there was a reason for those tent pegs that came with the tent. Ten in a tent, headed for trouble. This was an emergency. Everybody sprang into action. Honey tried to get her leg out from under Aunt Finny, but Aunt Finny couldn't move until she got her elbow out from under Lulu, and Lulu couldn't move until she got her knee out from under Mrs. Murch's back, and Mrs. Murch couldn't move until she got her hair out from under Bear the Dog. Mr. Murch told all the kids to stay inside the tent while the grown-ups went outside to stop the tent from blowing away. So Mr. Murch, Mrs. Murch, and Aunt Finny all stepped out of the tent. It was a big mistake. You see, grown-ups are very heavy. As soon as they stepped out of the tent, it became much lighter and it started lifting even higher into the air. But it didn't blow away because Bear the Dog was still in it. He was the biggest dog in the whole universe. So everything was okay, everything was just fine until Bear the Dog decided to follow the grown-ups. No! shouted Julian. No! shouted Nick. And no! shouted Lulu. No! shouted Honey. Bear the Dog stepped out of the tent. In a single moment, the tent took off with all the kids inside. Mr. Murch chased it down the beach. He dived and grabbed whatever he could. He grabbed the aluminium tent pole and held onto it. But the tent was just a $20 kid's tent from the camping store. The aluminium pole was actually made of plastic. The pole bent in half. Mr. Murch rolled upside down and then That was the sound of pajama pants ripping. 
Mr. Murch's pajama pants, they were his favorite pair. The old ones with the blue and white stripes. And they ripped right down the back. Mrs. Murch was yelling. Aunt Finney was laughing. And the kids in the tent were screaming. Everyone was making so much noise that all the campers from across the campsite came out to see what was happening. A whole family came out to have a look. The lady from across the way came out to see and the snoring guy from next door came to look too. They all stood and stared at Mr. Merch, lying there with the grip in his pajama pants. He was holding onto the pole of the $20 kids tent with all the kids inside. Chapter 5 The Pajama Pants Then Mr. Merch did something really stupid. It was something even more stupid than all the other stupid things he had done on this camping trip. He didn't want all these people looking at the rip in the back of his pajama pants. So he covered the rip up with his hands. The same hands that were supposed to be holding onto the tent pole. As soon as he let go of the tent pole, the tent blew away in the wind. It blew away like a big baggy kite. With Honey and Julian and Lulu and Nick and Molly and Millie inside. The tent blew across the beach out toward the sea. Six in the tent blowing away. Honey looked out the tent window. She could see the beach down below and she had to think fast. She said, okay everyone, we're going to have to jump. We should each grab something important. So Honey grabbed Millie and Julian grabbed Molly and Nick grabbed his dismin and Lulu stuck her fingers in her mouth. Then they jumped out of the tent and landed on the soft beef sand. Off went that little kid's tent with a hole in the roof and a wobbly pole and a flipping flapping door. Off into the sky, off into the distance, flipping flapping flipping away forever. Everyone stood on the beach watching it go. Ten of them and no tent. Honey sat down on the sand with her dad. She told him that this holiday was definitely the worst holiday ever. She said they should find a more comfortable place to spend the rest of the night. So all ten of them jumped into the car and drove to a nice hotel called the Bella Vista her in. It had color TV and air conditioning and hot showers and five separate rooms. They stayed there for the rest of the holiday. It turned out to be a pretty good camping trip after all.